Hey everyone, my name is Olaf, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to pixelate any object in Blender. You're also going to learn some cool tricks to uh, make the effect even better. It's going to be quick and easy as always, so uh, let's get started. Okay, so start off by clicking File, and then click User Preferences, and then add the Advanced Object add-on. So just type in Object, and then Add Advanced Objects, and then click Save Settings, and then go back to Blender. Now click X to delete the uh, default cube, and then switch from Blend Render to Cycles Render for better shading. And then click Shift A, and we're going to start off by adding text. Click R, X, then 90 to rotate it 90 degrees on the X axis, then R, set 90 to rotate it 90 degrees on the Z axis. And then click S to scale, left click to confirm the scale, and then click Tab to edit the text, and I'm going to write pixelated. And then go back to object mode to confirm the text. Okay, so I'm going to grab it on the y-axis, a GY to grab it on the y-axis. And then I'm going to uh, convert the text into a mesh. So click Alt C and convert to mesh. And then go into the modifiers and add a solidify modifier. By increasing or decreasing the thickness, you can give the text some uh, volume. So let's go to the next step, which is to click Shift A, and then go to uh, Block Tools and click Pixelate Object. And that is basically how you pixelate an object in Blender. But I'm going to show you more tricks and then how to add the lighting and then render the image. So let's convert the lamp into a sun, increase the size to 1, and then increase the strength to about 7. And uh, let's go into the world settings and make the world a little bit brighter. And uh, let's uh, grab the sun. And by clicking Shift Set, you can see what it looks like when it's rendered. But I'm going to select the dupe object and then click the uh, plus sign. Because you need to uh, select the cube below to add the materials. And then click New. Let's uh, give it kind of a dark color, like uh, gray or black. And by selecting the cube, you can also edit the uh, pixel effect. So for example, you can scale the uh, individual cubes. And by scaling the individual cubes, you can remove the gaps that you see between the uh, cubes. So just click S and scale. And as you can see, the uh, gaps are removed. I think I'm going to undo it and then go into the modifiers. Click Add Modifier and add a Subdivision Surface modifier. And increase the subdivisions to 3. And if you now click S, you can scale it up and see that you have a lot of spheres. So now the text is made out of spheres, which is a cool effect. Okay, so the next step in the tutorial is to add a normal mesh and then show you how to use it. So click Shift A, and I'm going to add a monkey, and then click S to scale up the monkey. And when you have a low poly mesh like this one, you need to add a subdivision surface modifier first, and then apply the subdivision surface modifier and then you can add the uh, effect. So uh, go to Block Tools and then Pixelate Objects. And the effect is going to be better if you have a large object. So if you scale it up first, because then you're going to get more cubes. So click R, then Set to rotate it on the Z axis. And I'm just going to grab it a little bit backwards. So click G to grab. And I'm going to grab it behind the text for the uh, thumbnail. So left click to confirm the position. Okay, so now that we have two pixelated objects, I'm going to go into devices and switch to GPU rendering. If you don't have a GPU, that's okay, but it's going to be faster if you have a GPU. So uh, this is what it looks like in rendered view. And now it's time to add a material to the uh, monkey cubes as well. So select the uh, object below, and then I'm going to add a new glossy material. So switch from diffuse to glossy, and then I'm going to increase the roughness to about 0.2. Okay, and let's give it a color as well. Obviously, it doesn't matter what color you choose or what materials you add. So just add whatever color you want or whatever material you want. Let's add a uh, subdivision surface modifier to this object as well, so that you can see how you can add the spheres to the object. So let's add a subdivision surface modifier and then uh, Click S to scale them. And once again, we have an object made out of spheres. But I'm going to remove the modifier and go back to the cubes. 
for the final render. Okay, so uh, let me just adjust the uh, position and the rotation. Then the next step in the tutorial is to use the camera. So click not by zero to see through the camera and then click shift F to use the fly cam. And you can move around with W, A, S and D just like in a video game. So I'm going to position it around here. And then we need to increase the distance for the camera. So let's go into the camera settings and increase the clipping to around a thousand, which should be enough. So this is what it looks like in rendered view. And uh, now we're almost done with the tutorial. So I'm just going to adjust the uh, light a little bit. I'm going to click G to grab and then rotate it a little bit. And I think it looks good. So let's go to the next step, which is to change the render settings. So let's increase the resolution quality to 100%. And then increase the render samples to around 250. And before I start the actual rendering, I might change the colors a bit. So let's select the monkey or the cube for the monkey. And I ended up in this tutorial with a blue color for the monkey. But you can obviously give it whatever color you want. So a blue color. And then change the uh, text a little bit, make it blue, and I click render. And this is what it looks like. I hope you liked the tutorial. If you want to take your Blender skills to the next level, you can also get the Great Tank course made by me, which is available at Udemy.com. So thanks for watching and subscribe.